All right, here we go. So I'm going to try to take this screenshot of a website and basically just layer it up so I can uh, change out um, the information without, you know, putting too much effort into it in development. So yeah, all I have is the screenshot. So I'm just going to cut this up, make it easier. Call this the background. Now, let's play with some squares. Um, just because. My brother's killing a mud game right now. On point. There we go. Yo, Anthony, uh, if you're watching this, which you're not, because I'm not streaming it, why am I not streaming this stuff? So, one, and Command J, make a copy. Nav. Actually, hey Nav. Hold up. It's done. Change this just a little bit so we can see it out. Yeah, you're right. Whatever. So this is going to be put image right. here. We slide. I'm in it. You ride. Now put image She's here. Bending. All night. I'm getting so, it. I'm in the morning, baby. You can get it if you win. Yeah. Kick your stack. So this is a logo. It shines so, so bright, so I tell it like this, that she say no, it's rapid. I'd rather tell you this and tell you that, so you can have me. I said, no, I'm gonna be waiting, let me tell you what's say thing. I'm gonna do you all night long, yeah, yeah, pray your brains. Pray your brains. Just pray your brains, cause I'm gonna fuck you all night. I play no games. Basically, I'm just putting a logo right here. You know, it might not go as well. Because, uh, logos are not, you know, they're different sizes. So, you know, change logo. Make the la uh, or the nav. What's going on, computer? Sorry. Home. Oh man. It's all good. Um, 
about plans. All right, so got rid of that. This is the nav. Boom, boom. Call that nav. Put you at the bottom. So we have the image. Okay, let's go to. Moneyonbooks.com. Copy that picture, put that in there. So I'm making it larger so it can look just like that. Boom. Now it may look a little sloppy to you, but I'm just going to put this where it says put image here. Create a clipping mask. Now it's perfectly in there. So. Oh my goodness, I forgot to. Sorry about that. Boom. Let's say it's a charcoal background. Alright, man, Sam. You out of here? Yeah. Alright, man. this image right here created a clipping mask let's call this the hero image all right hero image now if I take away the background that's what I got can't read it right why not well Good question. Mm, let's put that as black. So in the nav, let's open up the nav. Change logo, no. Boxed it. Oh, guess I didn't box it. Yeah, this is, oh, nav background, see? That's why you have to uh, put names on your 
on your layers because you'll get confused. So my nav background is brown right now. So there's two ways you can do it. You can click on the tool and go to the fill, which is the way I like to do it. Or you can double click that layer, go to color overlay. So let's change this to, let's go with black. You can barely see it, but I like it. Charcoal. All right, two, 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 two. Easy to remember. That's going to be the code moving forward. Two, 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 two. I'm going to copy that to, I like doing notes just because have all my stuff there. Boom. So, okay, okay. Now, this is what you've made. Boom. So, let's make this part now. So, one, two, three. What if we edit directly on them now? So let's make a new layer and go with the magic wand tool. Zoom in, click in on that. Oh. Look at that. Instead of clicking the color I wanted, it selected the whole the whole layer because it's not chopped up. So we can go to the color picker. Or you know, select color range. So at the color picker, let's select this blue right here because there's blue all over the page. So let's just select this blue right here. So everything that's blue will be affected. You can tweak it to make sure you get everything right. But let's just do it like that. Just everything really blue. Okay. So now I selected all the blue in this whole pit. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So, how do I plan on changing the color? Hmm. I could just do delete, and it deletes everything that was blue, leaving me with, you know, almost nothing to work on. So, Let's not do that. Let's command J or I think control J on PC to make a new layer with just that. And I can turn off all of this. So now everything that's blue, I can change to any color I want. So right now looking at this background, you want to see it white? Let's go element one. Actually, something even simple. This is color one. And how we're going to change color one is by double clicking on it, color overlay, and 
then we're going to change this color to let's say white. We can go with white, or yeah, let's just go with E. Let's just go with that one. So now, with this, you're probably wondering what in the world is he going to do? Yeah, I still haven't figured.